Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the fascinating precipitation of barium sulfate. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is barium chloride, 18 molar sulfuric acid, a petri dish with some distilled water, my dropper, and a spoon. To begin, I'm gonna create an aqueous solution of barium chloride by just adding one or two grams of barium chloride to my Petri dish. I'm gonna stir it around until it completely dissolves. Once you have an aqueous solution of barium chloride, you're ready to add drops of sulfuric acid to your Petri dish, and you will see the precipitation of barium sulfate, a white cloudy precipitant. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just awesome. Barium sulfate is used in the medical field. It's a contrast agent so that when it's swallowed, it coats your esophagus, your stomach, and your intestines. So during a CAT scan, the image becomes more visible. Just look at that. Just an awesome double displacement precipitation reaction. Okay, so what's going on in this terrific reaction is you start with your barium chloride, that's the BACL2, and the sulfuric acid H2SO4, those are your reactants. Now, when you combine them, the barium, the sulfate ions, create the precipitant barium sulfate, BASO4, and that was the cloudy precipitant that you saw, and of course the product hydrochloric acid, HCl. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land. And I'll see you next time.